Project registration is your first step in creating your human research project within Regis. This needs to be completed and submitted in order for your ethics and or site applications to then be created. Anyone with a Regis user account can create and submit project registration. If this person is not the coordinating principal investigator or principal investigator, they will have automatic editor access on the ethics and site applications generated upon submission of this form. On your homepage, select New Form. The first page provides you with an introduction to completing project registration. This includes a useful roadmap to help you understand the road to approval. Clicking on the image opens a more detailed version. And clicking on any of the gold text on the page will open the information in a new tab. You will notice accordions throughout the form. These will provide you with useful information related to the page you are on. You can also collapse each header as required. For further page-specific information and guidance, select the help icon at the top of the page. If you require ethics from an ACT, New South Wales or TAS Human Research Ethics Committee Trek, select No here to create your ethics application. Only low-risk studies are reviewed by the Tasmanian HATREC in Regis. If your application is currently being reviewed or has been approved by a HATREC from another jurisdiction, such as Victoria or Queensland, select Yes here so the system does not create an ethics application. When Yes is selected, you must enter the details as prompted. If another project has already been registered using the same unique identifier or reference, a warning message will appear and will include the Coordinating Principal Investigator's contact details. At this point, you would not complete the form. You would contact the Coordinating Principal Investigator to have the site added to the existing project to avoid duplication in Regis. If you indicate the study has prior ethics review, you will need to indicate if the application has also been or is being reviewed under the National Mutual Acceptance Scheme. Regis uses smart form technology and based on your response will either hide or show fields or questions. All fields in this section must be completed. How you title the project here is how you will be able to locate it when searching for it in the system. The study type decision tree will provide you with clarification around whether your application meets the World Health Organization or National Clinical Trials Governance Framework definition of a clinical trial, and if your application will be required to be entered into the New South Wales Health Statewide Clinical Trial Management System, CTMS. You will notice question marks against certain questions within the form. These provide you question-specific information and guidance. Only sites created under the New South Wales and TAS Health tab will create site applications in Regis. You can add any other health jurisdictions or organisations that are external to Regis under the Other Health Jurisdictions or Organisations tab. Sites added here will not be created in Regis. ACT Health have requested that all ACT site applications be created using this option. When ethics is external to Regis, you will only have the other health jurisdictions or organisations tab available, as you must seek approval for those sites through the reviewing HATREC external to Regis. To add a site, we use the Add a Site button. 
A project centre can refer to a local health district, a specialty health network, pillar organisation or affiliated health organisation, and the site is a site that would fall under those. If the principal investigator does not appear when searching for their user account, you can use the invite to register button and this will send an email to the person that allows them to easily register an account. Once you have added the principal investigator, you can add other team members below. For site applications, you can add up to two administration contacts with edit and submit access. If the study is a clinical trial, you can also add an associate investigator with edit and submit access. For non-clinical trials, you can only add up to two administration contacts with edit and submit access. An administration contact will receive system-generated correspondence. When you have indicated that TAS Hatrick is reviewing your application, you are limited to the project centre and project sites being only those that fall under TAS Health. In this section, you would indicate if you are the coordinating principal investigator by selecting yes here. Your details provided in your user account will pre-fill here. If you are not the coordinating principal investigator, you would need to select no and provide their Regis username. If they do not have a Regis user account, use the invite to register option. It is important that the coordinating principal investigator is correctly identified at this point as an incorrect response will cause the application to be made ineligible and delay the review. Just like the previous section, you can add up to two administration contacts with edit and submit access here. If you have indicated that your ethics is external to Regis, you will need to upload the ethics application and documents as a single zip file. This should be uploaded under the document type Ethics Application, HARIA or other. If Ethics is also approved, the approval letter or email needs to be uploaded separately so the system recognises the approval. This needs to be under the document type Ethics Application Decision Notification. If Ethics is to exist in Regis, the protocol or project plan is required to be uploaded as a minimum. Providing a clear and descriptive document title will allow easy management of the document throughout the project's lifecycle. How you describe the document now is how it will ultimately appear on the approval notification. If you have your document saved on your desktop, you can click drag and drop it into this field here or use the browse option to find your document. Once you submit project registration, you cannot edit it. Ensure you have all green ticks in the left-hand menu and that the data you have provided is correct before submission. If you do submit it and then later identify there is incorrect data, you will need to discuss this with the reviewing research office. They are able to manually update certain data in the system. You can see via the roadmap that you are at the end of project registration. You can click here to see a more detailed version of the map. The information provided on this page will assist you with understanding the next steps. If ethics is to be created in Regis, you will see a human research ethics application, the HARIA listed and any New South Wales or TAS sites as indicated in Part C of the form. By submitting project registration, you have not submitted your ethics or site applications. These will generate upon submission of the form. If ethics is to be created in Regis, this will generate first. Once that has been completed and submitted, the site applications will then generate. If ethics is external to Regis, your site applications will generate upon submission of this form. You can see here that my ethics application has generated. This is because I indicated that ethics was to exist in Regis.